Hi everyone, Mike here with Real Texas Outdoors, and man, it has been a minute since I have posted a video or any content on this channel. Uh, I don't know, but off the top of my head, I'm guessing it was somewhere around four or five months ago. Uh, it was when I had a, one, I think one of our old Z traps, maybe one that I'd made for myself that was kind of beat up and dinged up, uh, that I threw in a local pond just to see if there was any fish in there. That pond looked like chocolate milk, and I didn't know there was fish in there, so I just wanted to check it out. Uh, in that video though, and the reason I, I think it's about four and a half, five months ago, in that video I mentioned that my mom had been having some health problems. And so I am very blessed and very thankful to be reporting and saying that uh, she did undergo a double lung transplant and is, and is doing well. She is home recovering. Um, it's been about four months since she's undergone that surgery and uh, you know she's still got a long way to go but she is getting stronger. Um, so. Uh, Anyway, I'd share that information to say, you know, really to point to God and just say, wow, it's just amazing that you can even do a transplant um, or that that procedure is even a possibility and just to give God, you know, all the glory in that. You know, there's a lot of prayer and a lot of, a lot of hard moments going through this and uh, just to be able to look back on it and see God's hand in it all uh, has been a tremendous blessing. And so, uh, anyway, I wanted to share that. So that is kind of a short, kind of brief explanation of a little bit of the lack of engagement here on the channel. Hopefully going forward, we can make a few more fishing videos, um, you know, just kind of get back to a normal routine of life. And so anyway, long story short, the point of today's video is really to show you guys and to demonstrate, not demonstrate, but really show you guys a new trap that we're making and uh, we'll be selling uh, going forward on, this, on the site. Uh, I'm not exactly sure when we will actually make this thing go live, but still kind of... All right, so what I was saying is still uh, kind of teetering with the way I want to, to build the trap. It is a really hard trap to build and because the wire is not very valuable at all. Um, so I've got to work some of those kinks out. But once I do, I believe, you know, once I feel like I can get this thing done in a timely manner, I will probably put it and make it go live on the site for people who want one, they can order one. So uh, to the naked eye, this looks just like a regular uh, clover leaf style trap that we sell on our site. If you follow the channel and have seen videos in the past, it looks just like a clover leaf, uh, clover leaf trap. Uh, it is different from a regular clover leaf trap. And what I'm gonna do is kind of go over high points here and then I'm gonna actually pull the camera around and do some close-ups where you can see the differences kind of in a closer. I know it's harder to see maybe at a distance here. Um, they call this, if you're wondering why it's called a clover leaf trap, you can see the shape of it. It has, a, it has a funnel on each of the four sides of the trap and this funnel kind of gives it that clover leaf appearance. Uh, in our normal clover leaf trap, brief overview of this one. In our normal clover leaf traps, we do one entry point per side. This one actually has two per side, which means it has eight total entry points. So the fish are going to be able to find their way in there a lot faster. Uh, we also made the bait box larger on this one. In our normal clover leaves, in the past, we made a three by three bait box in the center. This is a four by four, so it's allowed you to put more bait in there and soak the trap for a longer period of time. Uh, we also use stainless steel rings and some of the other traps we use aluminum rings just because you know that wire is not as stout this is all stainless steel rings and this is actually this wire is what they call an animal cage quality wire that's galvanized after the weld and i will explain what all that means here in just a moment um, so this is a terrific trap i'm going to do a little demonstration there is no other trap on the market uh, that i would do with even some of the ones that we build i would not do that with i'm a hefty boy uh, and I weigh about 235 pounds-ish. I can stand on top of one of these traps and it will not collapse. And so I'll show you that. Um, again, there's not, uh, this is in my opinion, I know I'm biased because we, we make and sell them here, but in my opinion, this is the highest quality galvanized trap that's on the market that exists. Uh, I don't think that anything really is even close to second and it's because the wire is such a high quality wire. It's the way that we've designed it. Um, it's just, this is a solid trap. Uh, it'll last you years and years and years if you take care of it. If you don't take care of it, uh, it may not last you as long, but it'll last you some time. And so again, let me grab the camera. I'm gonna flip this around here. I'm gonna show you kind of a demonstration of why this is a different trap than what you might have seen on our site before, or maybe what you even own from us. So this is just a different variation of that. So let me grab the camera and uh, kind of walk you guys through this. All right, so let me walk you guys through this trap here. Again, as I just said, this is just a clover leaf style trap, which just means, you know, looks like a clover leaf. Uh, this trap is a little smaller than the trap we've made in the previous. This is exactly 23 inches by uh, 23 inches. So it's 23 inches across top, 23 inches this way, and it is 
Uh, sorry about that. It is 11 and a half inches up this side here. So the tight tier is 11 and a half. Uh, it could be 11 inches. It really, I mean, it's probably going to be 11 and a half, but it might actually be 11 inches. So either way, it's not going to make any real difference in the trap. Uh, one thing is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this has two entry points and it's kind of hard to see here. Um, but there is uh, one right here. It's a one inch by three inch entry point that goes in the bottom. And there's another one by three inch that goes on the top. And so that means with this trap that you have a total of eight entry points, two per side all the way around the trap. So again, those fish are gonna be able to find their way uh, into the trap pretty quickly. Um, there is a, a four by four bait box and we use um, all stainless steel um, hog rings on this one. So every ring on here is a stainless steel ring. Uh, in the past, we've used some of these aluminum rings uh, to do a lot of our saltwater traps or um, even some of our, um, you know, or I'm sorry, other, uh, what word am I looking for? Other heavy gauge trap, we use the aluminum rings. Aluminum rings work great. Um, this trap though has uh, just a much, uh, I guess, tougher wire. And so we wanted to produce like the strongest trap that we could possibly make. So that is kind of a general construction. They, we also use crab trap uh, bungee. So this is mar marine grain bungee and it's real easy. You just pull it down, come over the edges with it. A little harder with one hand, but still doable and open it up. And so there is the, bait box there again four by four bait box so it's four by four by 11 solid bait box and on the bottom here is where you would still empty your fish so nothing you know nothing's changed on that it's just the the door is still on the bottom right hand corner what i would call the bottom right hand corner um let me get this back so i can move it around so this trap now here's kind of some disadvantages of it i'm just going to start with that and address those this is a heavy trap and so some of our other uh this is the wire that we used to build um that we well that we still do build uh, our galvan our heavy gauge traps out of and this trap is i won't say it's twice as heavy but it is significantly heavier i did weigh this trap earlier and it comes in right at 10 pounds uh for this trap and so um you know once you fill it up with fish you're you, you possibly are going to look at you know 12 13 15 pounds in that range depending on how many fish you get in there um, however it is a heavier trap so that's one thing to be aware of um so that is definitely a disadvantage the other disadvantage and just being totally honest that this is going to be a more expensive trap and that's solely due to the quality of the wire which i'm going to go over here in just a second this well i'll go over now this wire is what they call animal cage quality and which means basically when the machines build it, it has lasers to measure it. And so these squares stay true. If they get off, it's not, they're not off for very long and they get back to exactly half inch by half inch. It's also what they call galvanized after welding. And that's a big deal. And so the only really bare wire spots on this are going to be on the edges here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but on the edges where we cut right here, that's really the only spot that's not galvanized. That's not coated. And so this trap is a lot more coated um, than our, sorry about that, than our previous trap. And so it is an animal cage quality that has been galvanized after welding. That means it's a more expensive wire. It's also 16 gauge wire, which is just like this. This is 16 gauge wire, but this is galvanized before welding. So this still makes a, a fabulous trap. We've sold hundreds and thousands of traps just out of this stuff. And it's a really, really good wire. It's a good, it's a good product. It's just not quite to the level that this is. Uh, and so I'm going to zoom in here and show you. So if you look at this one, let me find a few spots. So the reason this is galvanized, I'm sorry, I don't know if I said it right. This is galvanized before weld. So this wire is made, it's galvanized, and then they weld it together. So you can see these little spots like right here and right here, they have little black dots there. And so that doesn't mean it falls apart easier or anything like that. It just means those spots are not galvanized. And so when you, when you start using this type of wire over time, those are spots that could potentially break down a little bit faster. Now, this is, again, this is half inch by half inch wire. This is half inch by one inch wire. And this is half inch by half inch hardware cloth. This is 19 gauge, real flimsy stuff. Um, you know, it's really easy to bend. Whereas this stuff, I know it's not on a corner, but it's not near as easy to bend. This is really solid stuff. Now, this is also galvanized after weld, but you know, the, I guess, disadvantage of this, this, is a, this makes a great trap too. Um, but it's it's flimsy. So there's a lot of issues with it. It does tend to break down just because of the diameter. You know, it's not as thick. It's only 16 gauge. I'm sorry, this is 19 gauge versus 16. So the diameter isn't, is, is it's not as heavy duty of a wire. It tends to get damaged, um, you know, more frequently. It's this stuff here that comes on a big roll and you just, 
I mean, it's just a little more flimsy. Again, if you take care of it, it does make a good trap. And we've sold, again, hundreds and thousands of traps out of that. It's just not as good as this stuff. It's just not as durable. It's not going to last as long. It's not as nice, not as shiny. Um, now, again, kind of going back to the pricing on this, this is probably going to be, I don't, at the time of the video, I'm probably going to be like an entry point of around $100 on this trap. And that's simply because this wire here is on level with this black wire that we use down here to make our you know, saltwater traps. This is by far the nicest wire, the most expensive wire we buy. And it, this is a black PVC coated wire where the, the, the PVC is actually, like the plastic on it is actually glued to that wire. So it, that's super high quality stuff. This comes in very similar to that price point when we order it. And so because of that, that's just probably gonna be where this trap starts. Whereas I think these were around, the traps made of this, like this trap made of this wire was around the $70, $75 mark around there. This trap made out of this wire was around the $90 mark. So just because of the nicer wire, it is gonna cost a little bit more money. So I hope that explains at least the price. There's, there are some disadvantages to this for sure. Um, it is heavier. It is going to cost more. The advantages are it's a little different design. You're going to catch, you're going to have the, I don't know if you guys can see this. And this is going to turn into a long video. I apologize. But if you see this, that's my Z trap right there. That's one of the best catching traps that you, it's insane how good it catches. And it's just that design is wild. And you've got two entry points. You can see them right there. And so what we did is taken that design and kind of applied it to this one. So that's one advantage. You're going to catch more fish in this than you would a regular clover leaf trap. Another advantage is that you can use this in salt water to some extent. Now, going to salt water, I know a lot of people have asked me, can you just make it out of stainless steel? Like you can buy stainless steel rolls of wire. They have a 304 stainless steel wire. And the wire, though, is, is number one, it's stupid expensive and it's really flimsy. And so if you were to use it in salt water, even 304 stainless steel is not going to hold up in salt water conditions. It's not really meant for that. It's meant like if you were to throw it out in your yard and use it as fencing, like it would hold up forever. But if you put it in a marine environment, it's not going to hold up as good. Now, there is other types of stainless steel. I don't know the exact one number off. Maybe it's 316 or so. If you were to buy rolls of that and build traps, I could do it, but you would never sell a trap or I would never, you guys would never buy a trap and I would never sell one just because it would be just stupid expensive. And so for price point, you know, at the end of the day, we are building fish traps that go into water and have a potential uh, to be stolen or lost or banged up. And so, you know, with all of those factors in mind, we have to produce a product that's, if you lose it, it's going to stink. It's going to suck to be, you know, honest. However, you're not, you know, you're not going to go in the hole and break the bank on it. And so that's really the design here, the idea behind this one. We're going to, we make the highest quality trap that we can make at a price point that's still, I would say, competitive. And you're, you're going to get a fabulous, fantastic trap that's going to last you for years and years, especially if you take care of it. All right. So what else? Oh, yeah. So let me then show you um, as far as uh, standing on top of this trap. I will demonstrate that I literally can stand on it. I would not do that to any of my other traps, including that wire there, even though that's the highest super nice wire. It's only half inch by one inch. So I wouldn't feel quite as comfortable doing with that. Uh, with this one, though, I've done it. You can stand on top of it. And so let me show you guys that. Well, I. I killed the camera, but let me let me show you walking it out there so no one says, oh, it's trickery. It's not trickery. I mean, this is legitimate, legitimate standing on top of it. And I'll do it from another angle as well. Let me get on a flat surface. So again, that's the same trap, half inch by half inch. And if I am, like I said, I'm a heavy, heavy guy. Stand on top of it. There is no way I would do this to another trap. So let me get another angle here. I will have to turn the camera off till I can. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I can do this myself. Sorry, I'm by myself. I should have had my kid help me. All right, how about that? All right, so again, half inch by half inch, 16 gauge, standing on top of it. No problem. It's wild, huh? And you can see it didn't, didn't warp the trap or bend it. We also still have the two entry points per side like this. This sucker is just fantastically durable. Um, yeah, so let me wrap this video up. All right, I need to wrap this video up. I know it's been a little bit of a longer one, but one thing I wanted to mention before I did go, and I totally forgot this earlier, uh, picture in your mind, uh, you know, like a sediment uh, water, right? Water that's really dirty, that has a lot of sediments in it. 
So what happens, the reason this trap is going to last longer is because it has that galvanized after will. It's totally coated. Um, but what happens is in, when wave action occurs, whether it's tide or you know, even like after a bad rainstorm, even on a lake where like there's wind action and stuff that's blowing dirt, dirty water around, what tends to happen, and even if the trap's just sitting in the mud, what tends to happen though is, is when the sediments run up against the trap, it sort of acts like really fine grit sandpaper. So over time, it starts to rub that coating, that galvanized coating off of it, exposing the bare wire, which helps, you know, speeds up breaking it down. And so because this, again, is galvanized after weld and because it's thick wire, it's going to last a lot longer than something like, you know, this thinner 16 gauge wire, I'm sorry, 19 gauge wire, or this wire as well. Again, this is solid stuff. It's also 19 gauge, but those points where the welds occur are not covered, they're not galvanized, and so it tends to probably cause that trap to break down faster uh, in those types of situations. Uh, one thing also, you can use this trap in salt water. Now, that caveat there is use common sense, right? Like it's a still a metal trap. Like you don't want to throw it in your salt water and leave it there three weeks. It's not going to last you long like that. However, if you take it out and use it, and then you come back and spray it off with fresh water, let it dry, it's still it's gonna last you a long time. Uh, we have customers who will buy this type of wire right here, this 19 gauge stuff and this 16 gauge stuff uh, for salt water applications because shinier wire tends to catch better. Um, they want that wire, they understand that it's not gonna last as long. That's just you know one of those deals where you have to understand what you're getting into. It, now, this wire is not gonna last as long as the PVC coated wire that I showed you guys earlier will in salt water, but you can use it in salt water if you take care of it and spray it off. And so, uh, I hope that helps. Uh, one other thing I didn't mention was, as far as, this really doesn't, I don't think the customer probably thinks much on this, um, but shipping is, this is gonna be a safer trap to ship because it's just a stouter trap, right? The wire's just heavier, heavier gauge, heavier duty. Um, I tend to get more damage on these 19 gauge traps than I do on heavier gauge traps. Now, I could pick it up and drop it on a perfect corner and it would cause some damage, um, probably. However, you know, the normal dings and things, you know, just from moving it around your shop or moving it around your boat, it's not going to happen with this trap like it would this 19 gauge wire. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions about this trap, please don't hesitate to uh, shoot me an email. It's mike at realtexasoutdoors.com. You can also uh, post a comment in the, uh, I guess, in the box below or in the comment section below, and I'll try to respond to it in a timely manner if you do have specific questions about this. Again, this is our updated, improved, I don't really know what I'm going to call it, may just replace, you know, I may just call it the heavy duty trap, uh, heavy duty uh, uh, clover leaf rather, but this is going to replace, uh, likely going to replace our other heavy gauge trap. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, let me know. If you're interested, then just check us out on the website. It's www.realtexasoutdoors.com. I'll also drop a link in the uh, description below. So, again, thank you guys for watching. It's a longer video just hearing me talk about it, but uh, I hope I explained everything about this and why it will cost a little more money and some of the advantages and disadvantages of it. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.